Hey, what's happening? New episode of vlogs. It's your homeboy, Mr. Capone, the one and only. Make sure you subscribe to my Mr. Capone news channels, media, and all that. We're going to do a lot of things in 2024. But today's subject is uh, Mexican OT, Mr. Capone, uh, conversation. Um, some, so a couple of days, so this is a little delay because I just got it in my inbox recently. But uh, a couple of days had an inter, um, interaction with the Mexican OT, uh, Mexican OT from Texas. And uh, I was on my social media and I seen him on his social media. So I ended up inviting him to my um, conversation. So it was kind of random, kind of like put on blast situation. So, you know, it could have gone either way, but I already know how I'm gonna speak and I'm pretty sure we'll find out how he will speak. So basically, I told him, hey, come into my chat. Uh, let's let's chop it up, whatever, right? So uh, homie came in in the chat, much respect. And you kind of will trip out on this conversation that we had. This is somebody who sent it. I guess they saved the conversation. So uh, I said, you know what? Might as well do a reaction to it and put it out there for the people to see. And uh, you guys might trip out on this uh, reaction or this conversation with me and Mexican OT. So uh, as I said, a couple of days ago it came out and you're gonna go watch it right here. So uh, go ahead and I'm gonna hit the play and you guys can hear our full live conversation. What up my boy? What up boy? Hey, how do I get you on a full screen? I don't know. You don't come to LA you say? I come to LA all the time. I'll be in that motherfucker deep. That's what's up. Pull up, pull up, come chill with the homies. I do. I'll be with my boy. Uh, where you going? Okay. I'll be with my boy. Let y'all get all them over there. Okay. Look, what's the name? You need to get your ass over here in Texas. Yeah, I'll be going up there all the time. I just did a, I did a show in Houston. I just did one this year in Austin. Again at a car show. And so you do you. But I'm gonna tell you how I feel about that situation. So I know people around his circle. But it's, there's no problem with them, even if they like them. That's something, that's their own personal opinion. But at the end of the day, my the way I spoke is the way I feel. And then some people misinterpret it like saying, I'm dissing anybody who likes anyone who listens to their music. I don't care if you listen to their music or not. That's not my problem. My problem is with a certain <laughs> act that's done to certain individuals. That's all I like. But it's nothing to talk about. We talk about that on phone, not on live. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I dig it. But yeah, man, keep doing your thing. You 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 getting the numbers, the record labels doing good for you. Keep running that stuff, get that bag. Just keep running that bag. You feel me? Yeah, hell yeah. These record label um, shit, they need to speed it up. They ain't really doing shit. Yeah. Everything I'm doing is me and my team that was already we was doing shit. Yeah, no, I I know when you're in Austin, you got a good ass team. I seen like your family represented for you. That's one thing I seen for you. You had a solid crew that like even family, run, hey, we're the family of him. We're the neighbors. They were coming pulling up for you. So I was like, he's got a little strong unit. I don't know how you're doing it like that, but that's a good little unit, you know? Because I respect everybody and I come correct. That's why. No, that's that's what said that. Hey, respect. I don't do nothing, no disrespect to nobody. Everybody, everybody, everybody want to come for me. <clears throat> and I don't even know what I've been doing. Even, 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 they're a lot, bro. What the fuck? Hey, cuz, you remember when King Lil G tried to hate on me too? Like, bro, your car, I bet your garage looks silly. And I know he got a badass bitch. And I know he got a big ass house. So how the fuck you worry about me, little bro? Yeah, bitch. I don't know. I don't know what he said. I, I didn't hear all that, but now you know me. Anytime you hear anything about me, just hit me direct, my G. I, I'm a real one. Shit, Jenny Six Nine just got jumped because she was over there jamming the SPM. Nah, so uh, that's one side of the story. Like, so let me tell you, my boy. First of all, I don't get involved because I only heard one side of the story. I, I know, uh, I know Jenny, and Jenny's cool. But I also know um, the other person. She's a homegirl. So I only heard one side of the story. So I'm not gonna speak on nothing unless I hear two sides of the story. You feel me? In that video. Mm, I don't know. I, I haven't seen no video. <laughs> That's crazy to me. 
I heard it was two on two, but I'm going to leave it at that. You feel me? That's crazy to me. Because I'll be over there. I'll jam the fuck out of SPM everywhere. Yeah, but I don't, I don't touch that stuff. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you could jab it to yourself, but, you know, you're in the wrong place. Some people might not like it. Some people might. It's up to you. You got your own choice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what's crazy about it. Like, I was, that's what I'm saying. I respect everybody to the fullest. So why would, why would somebody even want to come at that like that? You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I don't think I don't think nobody will do it, but it just depends how you do it, maybe. With the Jenny thing, I don't know how that went down. You got to ask Pinks. But there's probably some other alternative issues. Why? It's maybe not because of the, it's probably just one fourth of the situation. They just got to, we just got to hear her side of the story, but that's, that's not for me to speak on because I only heard one side of the story, not two sides, you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, keep doing your thing. Right on, blessings, baby. Yeah, for sure, doggy. I, uh, <clears throat> I salute what you do, bro. You, you've had a way for California. A lot of people talk about you. You know what I'm saying? I think it's cool as fuck. And then you represent La Raza. You know, it can't get better than that, bro. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> I appreciate it. Because right now you're new in the game. And for a young, youngster that's new in the game to show love, that's solid because we're on an all-time high. I remember when I was first popping, being on the radio. I mean, I was on KISS FM, Power 106, the biggest stations in LA. <laughs> but to always show respect to the older ones, that that's good because when you're on that high, sometimes you think you're invisible. And right now you're on your high, so that's that's respect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, shit, you know, nobody like a dickhead. And like I said, I come correct, bro. I come so correct. <clears throat> I don't want to make no enemies, bro. All I want is friends everywhere. What the fuck I want to be your enemy for? I want everybody to come and just love me and want to eat me. Hey, I like your attitude, my G. I like that attitude. That's solid. That's good. Just anytime, dog. You trust me. Whenever you are here, if you anything, just hit me up. We good. You know what I'm saying? We good. You good? We good. There's really no problems unless you say the problems, and unless I say the right. So there's, it's all love. Yeah, sick as fuck. Right on then. Right Hello, we got Jody in the building. Chat. Oh man. We got Jody in the building. Chat. Hey, how do I make you bigger? Cause like I see myself big and I see you in a box. I don't know. I don't be working this TikTok. I just got on here cause I was watching some fucking hoes and then your Instagram popped up. <laughs> I was like, shit. Hey, that's, that's what's up. That's why I seen you. I was like, makes you no tea. I was like, makes you no tea. I was like, let me click on it. Make sure this is the real deal. Then I seen it. I was like, oh shit, it's the real deal. What's cracking? And then you popped up, boop, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, all right, boy, we let you get to it, man. Have a good night tonight, though, Dougie. All right, you too, man. Have a good one out there in Texas. All right, guys. Yeah, so um, that was the whole situation right there, the conversation. Um, what did you guys get out of it? So what I got out of it, that conversation, mutual conversation is always good. It always brings a lot of um, dialogue and talk is always good. Letting people know how we feel whether you're from Texas, LA, Cali, how people feel about some certain in individual, not individual, certain demeanor of people's intent, and we let them off our chest and they let us off their chest. And as you've seen in this whole um, thing, I feel like it was positive. It bring a lot of positive because I know back in the days he says he's feeling in California, he comes and people really want to trip or, you know, exactly because of some music that he maybe bumped but like i said and like in my in my conversation with him it's like hey i personally don't and a lot of people feel the same way how we feel so at the end of the day it just depends how you want to do it around what kind of people me personally i wouldn't want that around too much around me but if you like it that's on you you feel me but when you play it there's there's rules and regulations depends on who you're around so if someone's around and cool with it they might not say nothing, but there's always going to be some people that really protect kids and they understand the, the longevity of, of, of letting this kind of lifestyle pursue into the neighborhoods and be okay with it. And some people want to have a stand on it. So it's good to communicate and conversate. And I think we had a great conversation and I'm pretty sure how he knows how we feel. I feel how a lot of people feel and I understand how he feels because you can't just... Um, 
talk crap about somebody just because they listen to some kind of music, that's understandable. Whether they like certain individual music, that's cool. No hating on music, no. But some people just put a no to it. You know what I'm saying? Some people like, nah, you know, I, I don't want that promoted. You know, it's different things like nowadays in schools. Some people will allow certain in the, in the in stuff into the school system for their kids. And some people are like, nah, we ain't having that. We don't want that our kids to learn this. So everyone has their thing, but the bottom line, we got conversation. We had a good chat, mutual respect. I showed homie his respect. He's coming up. Homie gave me my respect and my flowers. Two generations, two powerhouses. He's on a come up. I've been there, done that. And it's good to have these kind of uh, conversations instead of dramas and beef and hate and don't know him because if we could see each other on the street one day and we haven't had this conversation you never know you know what i'm saying so it could end up bad it can end up ugly because nobody knows how each other's feeling so we decided to get on the phone and it could have been ugly on the phone but i'm a man of respect and i'll give respect until i've disrespected and i'm sure he's the same way and we just show that cali in texas is all love Everybody has their own opinion. In Texas, they have the same mentality as Cali. I mean, there's a lot of people that think like me and then a lot of people in Cali that think like him. So we just have to have these dialogues that, you know, instead of all this drama that happens, hating is never my style. Sometimes we do retaliate and talk back, but we try to keep that on low unless there's certain criterias of paperwork of different stuff or, you know, someone who's this and that, no good. Then we speak on it, but we try not to go to that level. We try to keep the um, whole community good. And it's 2024 is coming up, guys. Everybody get your feria. Everybody get your cash. Come up, do your thing. It's your home of Mr. Capone. Uh, another episode of vlogs. I'm gonna have more vlogs 2024. I don't even wanna talk about the gossip, as you know, I never do. 2024, I wanna talk about bigger things and bigger stuff. So make sure you uh, subscribe. But yeah, that's the whole situation, Mr. Capone. Uh, conversation with Mexican OT and hey that's how doors open and everyone has great communications your homie Mr. Capone on the mouth